Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. G coming to you again with another video on sorting and patterns. Now in previous videos we were talking about different ways we can sort objects. Now we looked at objects that had one thing that was similar about them, and then we looked at objects that had two things that were similar, or in other words, attributes. That was the word for this section, to see which attributes were the same. And now that we're dealing with more than one attribute, I want you to look at this example, and you're going to help me do this one from home, okay? So you're going to show me that you've understood the videos up until now about sorting and patterns. Now the question is, some children are wearing t-shirts, and some are wearing running shoes. So in your classroom, you're going to have children that are going to be wearing t-shirts and others that are wearing running shoes. But you'll also have a couple children in the class who are wearing both the t-shirt and the running shoes. So where do we put them? If you look at the circles here in front of us, we can look and say, hey, you know, we're going to put the children with t-shirts in the left circle and the children wearing the running shoes on the right. But where are we going to put the children that are wearing t-shirt and running shoes? They're wearing both things. They have the two attributes that we're looking at. Let's start off first with the children wearing the t-shirts. So if we go up here, we're going to have this child and put the child in the left circle. This child over here is wearing running shoes, and we're going to put that child right over here in the right circle. Where do you suppose this child over here with the black t-shirt is going to go? You're right, that child goes into the left circle. As will this child right here, we're going to move them to the left circle as well. Any other child wearing running shoes? They will go to the right circle. And we're going to continue to put that child with the t-shirt in the left. And these children standing right here with the running shoes are also going to go in the right circle. Now, we have solved that problem. We've put the children who are wearing the t-shirts in the left circle and the children who are wearing running shoes today in the right circle. But if you look around your classroom, you have some children who are wearing t-shirts and running shoes. So where do we put them? Have a look at our diagram. Where would we put them? We can't put them to the left because they're wearing the running shoes too. And we can't put them in the right circle because they're wearing a t-shirt with the running shoes. So where do you suppose we can put the students who are wearing both the t-shirt and the running shoes? Think about it for a few seconds. I want you to tell me. If you guessed right in the middle, you are correct. So any of the students in your class who are wearing t-shirt and running shoes, they go right in the middle because they have the two attributes that we're looking at. They're not only wearing the t-shirts, but they're also wearing the running shoes. So we put them right in the middle of the two circles because that's where they belong when they have both. So if you're wearing a t-shirt, you put those students in the left circle. If you're wearing running shoes, you put them in the right. And if you happen to be wearing both today, you will go right in the middle, in between the two groups. Boys and girls, another great job today. So please stay tuned for another video on sorting and patterns. And again, you've done a fantastic job. This is Mr. G signing off, and we will see you soon. Bye-bye.